Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. Good YouTube, it's your boy Bill Nivison coming back with another quick video. Today we got the Air Jordan 1 Low University Blue, but you know, it's it's listen, listen, this is a quick alternative. If you didn't get the Air Jordan 1 high, UNC, I think the Air Jordan 1 Low University Blue is pretty good. Now there is a dunk low university blue that's supposed to come out, if I'm not mistaken, around Summertime this year looks like this. Kind of seen it before, but but without further ado, because I want to get into the shoe and, and make some comparisons and I kind of get your feedback on this because it's just something that's just it's not making sense to me. It's just not making sense. So of course, shout out to Nike, and I didn't think that this shoe was going to sell out as quick as it did, but it's still not quick. It still sold out, stood there for a minute, but then eventually pairs just started flocking out. Now, of course, they give you the standard Air Jordan box. Nothing too special. And I got my personal pair, size 13, but big, but, but, big feet, <laughs> big feet gang is what I was trying to say. But let me just open this bad boy up. Man, listen. Now, these shoes came in yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, because... Your boy been working, and he also sprained his ankle. Yeah, literally sprained my ankle. So I didn't get a chance to do a video yesterday other than the cop video um, for the actually the Dunk Low Black, which should be here by next week. I just got confirmation. But anyway, since we're talking about Dunks, let's just talk about the Air Jordan 1 Low. Now, I feel like this shoe doesn't give enough respect. It doesn't get enough respect, unless it's like a hyped colorway, like a bread Air Jordan 1 low, but these University Blues, man, these are not bad because especially when you look at the, the quality of it, right? This is tumble leather on the toe box. They give you tumble leather on the Nike swoosh and then tumble leather on a collar. So I can't see what, 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 you can't ask for anything better than that. Now, the reason why I'm bringing these up is because, of course, they gave you that standard rubber outsole, rubber midsole. But it's the uni blue that covers the upper that makes this unique. Instead of giving us like the rendition of, you know, like a, a blue and a white, they gave you, they mixed in a little black in it. And I like how they designed this because if, if this was a high, it's game over. Game over. Now, this is what I want to ask you because this is the controversy that I was talking about. If this shoe, you know, some people had mixed reactions, some people liked it, some people said, eh. But I guarantee if this shoe had Nike on the back, right, and on the tongue it featured Nike Air, I'm willing to bet that this shoe would sell out like hotcakes and everybody would be talking about it. So the reason why I'm asking that is because, or I'm saying that, it's because I felt like the Air Jordan 1 Low, when you look at the design and the way it's constructed, there's similarities to the Nike Dunk Low. Right? And you look at the, I mean, just look at the outsole. It's exactly the same. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like, the concept for a low, especially when it comes to Air Jordan 1 lows and the Nike Dunk Low, it's not exactly the same in terms of like the construction of the upper, but the bottom, I mean, when you're looking at it, like, it's, let's just look. <laughs> just look what I'm talking about. Like, it's, 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 it's close, but it's almost exactly the same. So why does the Air Jordan 1 Low not get as much love as the Nike Dunk Low? Nike Dunk High sort of gets low. Actually, it's, it's in reverse. I feel like the Nike Dunk High SP Special Project, I feel like that is not as popular as a Nike Dunk Low, right? But then the Air Jordan 1 is higher. Actually, Air Jordan 1 High is more popular than the Air Jordan 1 Low. So it's like an inverse of this. It just makes no sense to me. But what I'm trying to say is, look, whether it's an Air Jordan 1 Low or a Nike Dunk Low, to me, they look highly similar. Now, it's not exactly similar. I know there's some certain engineering designs, especially towards like the um, the shoelaces where you can see like it's, it's constructed a little bit different, but the concept is still the same. So that's why I wanted to kind of get your feedback. And what do you think about what makes the Air Jordan 1 Low not as popular as 
the Nike Dunk Low. In terms of construction, I can tell you right now that there's more cushion, a little bit cushion towards the collar uh, on the Nike Dunk Low. That's for a fact. But in terms of the shoe overall, this is a dope concept. You throw this on an on a Air Jordan 1 high, and I guarantee people lose their minds. You call this an SP Dunk Low, people are going to lose their minds. It, it's just, it's one of those things that I'm just thinking about, like, just doesn't make any sense to me. But your boy Milton never said, man, the Air Jordan 1 Low University Blue, don't get this confused with the Nike Dunk University Blue that's supposed to come out this summer. If I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to try to do the on feet. Might be a little hobble. You know, your boy doing that old man walk because he uh, sprained his, uh, his ankle. But I'll be all right. Don't worry about it. I'll be all right. <laughs> boy, Bill never said Air Jordan 1 Low University Blue. That said and done. Let's do that quick on feet. You guys, stay blessed. Oh.